<laughs> hey guys and welcome back on my youtube channel it's your boy troll in today's video we are back with another video for chronicles yes the game is on fire anyway as promised in this video i will explain you what's the best way to spend your gems and basically on what should you spend and what should you avoid from buying Again, this is my opinion, but so far it kind of worked for me. So, you know, I want to share it with you so you can progress faster, further and get less frustrated and eventually not get stuck. So the very first thing that we're going to discuss that I already mentioned with my, in my last video is do not summon with your gems. It's just cost too much for what it is. Like 3000 gems is basically three days of dailies, refreshers, etc. etc. So I really do not recommend to spend your gems on the summons. Now, what else can you buy with your summons? Let's start with the shop. First of all, on a weekly basis, you're going to buy uh, the Path of Growth ticket package. I do not recommend to buy the Kairos one. It's just not worth it. And you will see that very quickly, you will have so many essences that you're just not going to need more. You're going to get on a daily basis three free entries. You're going to get plenty of those tickets from side quest, campaign, from finishing the campaign with three different heroes. And you will see that very quickly you just have so many essences that you won't be able to even build so many champions anyway. So I don't recommend to buy the one on the right. I bought it because it was the early, you know, it was the beginning of the game. I wanted to rush my level and every additional XP was helping me. However, you if you're played since well since last thursday at this stage i can be more than confident you do not need more uh, entries to the essence kairos dungeons so don't buy those however the uh, the path of growth tickets it will always be mandatory because that's the only place you're gonna get your amazing runes and then later on with professions so those ones you can always buy next uh, next we had this so as you can see i bought the general back expansion package basically it gave you uh 50 more slots which i think is needed and will just it's a very good quality of life improvement i did not buy the 150 rune storage because it's not like you're gonna farm 12,000 runes per day there's a limited amount of runes you can get and very rarely you're gonna have good runes or it's not like you're gonna keep 20,000 runes like you're gonna ruin your heroes and if you don't have the space for your runes you can always use your monsters as holders so let's i don't know let's open let's open the witch we're gonna come here we're gonna put some random runes on her there you go boom equip and basically what i mean is okay, you can put six runes on every monster and it will obviously not appear in your bag so you have wait two one one does it actually appear did i almost troll you did i troll you i oh, know actually it doesn't disappear damn it i thought it worked before again regardless i really do not uh i don't you should not buy it it's just not worth it you're never gonna have so many runes you can just go sell buy whatever i just i don't think it's worth the gems or what it is uh yeah it's not worth 4k gems i bought the uh, second expansion which basically expanded all of your bags for 20 so i think it's also worth it uh in play and play i think that's it Oh, I also bought, bought one pickaxe, but I don't recommend it. You can just buy it in gold, but it will save you a lot of gold. So you might buy the pickups. The gloves I don't recommend. You really don't going to need so many gloves, but the pickaxe might help you out. Those are not worth it because this is 150. You're going to get 50. However, if you go to the exchange center and you're going to basically buy uh, 100 for 150, 10,000 of those, you can then come here and buy twice or like 400 here. So the 150 gems there is completely useless. Don't do it. Expired. No one wanted my fishies? No, no, don't release. Cancel. Uh, cancel. Okay. So that's all for the shop. Uh, what's next? Uh, I also recommend uh, 
buying or your tables so basically as you know if you want to craft something for any of your professions you're gonna need those tables i recommend buying all three of them uh, i just don't recommend to buying the cooking one but buy the alchemy one and the processing one and the blacksmith one just it's easier for you when you're farming you don't have to run back and it will always sit with you it's like a permanent uh, upgrade and to be quite it, i don't know i just it really helps me out especially when you're gonna start farming for your professions it's gonna be so much easier that you just go farm do it go to another spot farm do it instead of going to farm then run back to the village then back to the farming spot then back to the village it's just way easier so i really recommend just don't buy the cooking one it's really not worth it uh, another thing you can also not you can but you should is obviously every single day refresh your entries to the path of adventure again runes will be like 30 40 percent of the power of your monster and obviously you want to rune him correctly you don't want to put you know defense percentage on a naomi you want crit rate crit damage so it will take a lot of time before you get perfect runes and so yeah you're gonna obviously need a lot of entries and you if i'm not mistaken this is uh 450 gems and you're gonna get like 12 entries or something like that so this is really really worth it every single day you should be buying those same goes for the expedition uh, i also recommend to refresh your expeditions once per day not twice because it's too expensive but once per day i would really recommend it if you can farm level three below level three i don't recommend refreshing your entries it's just a waste of gems but level three you can start because you're gonna get the legendary thousand year frost or whatever you're gonna basically get the legendary pieces uh yeah it is the year frost so yeah i really recommend to refresh only if you are uh level three level two again i don't think it's worth it and in here uh, we cannot refresh then i mean obviously it's coming every single day please refresh your foggy or raid entries it's gonna cost you 500 but that's the best 500 you can spend their gear their materials everything like simply having the chance of having a double incarnation heart is huge you're gonna really really need those so again the foggy dungeon you're gonna also reset it every single day rupture i don't think you can reset it no you cannot reset the rupture no uh so rupture no uh arena i don't recommend it because i mean at this stage we just we, either if you, like guys please put a trail of like a troll death don't put your all, all of your strongest heroes in the defense like don't don't be a dickhead like no one cares like we still have a week before the season ends or i don't know how long but like i'm pretty sure all of you are happy whenever you can like speed farm like like this guy for example like he understands you just want to come in here and use your basically badges you don't want to spend 15 minutes per fight so just take off your defense it's like it you want the basically just have your defense like the last two days of the season like you can see season one ends in 18 days so for now it's useless just take off your heroes put a troll defense like here like you can see those are those are respectful people i like those people but putting all your strongest hero just to like this is pointless don't do that uh but yes um next also what i really recommend is buying twice per day your uh ref your um repeatable quests because obviously you're gonna get uh more entries to well farm your runes farm your gear etc you're gonna have a lot of breath of life and obviously summons those summons are insane all of my L, like light and dark heroes i got from the normal summons so again i really recommend it but you could also consider actually no i was about to say you can start farming those to level up your hero further than 60 but then I was like, with those tickets, you can also go to dungeons where you're gonna loot them. So I don't, I honestly, this is literally the only quest you should be farming and nothing else. Yeah, like, yeah, 100%. This is the only thing you should be farming. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the gems. Is there anything else? 
so yeah backpack i don't recommend increasing it it's just not worth it i don't i don't recommend but there is something else you should uh, also do and i'll do it actually with you right now uh, because i completely forgot about this since i was rushing it's in the explore uh, by the exploration captain is to open a third slot let me show it to you so in the exploration we're gonna go to captain lizardo squad squad open your third squad it will really help you out and always remember to send your exploration because thanks to the exploration you're gonna be basically able to get rare resources that you will have to spend hours to farm so for example i always send them for this and i'm gonna put my strong team what's the next 240 ah, okay start exploration and then period or uh, slow rate shen go start exploration so yeah open the third slot you will just be able to farm very rare, rare resources without even going and you know spending too much time on it and then one more thing that you might consider but it's really not needed it's in your runes in the presets once we're gonna have a lot of monsters especially when the rta comes out you might consider opening few slots for extra presets uh, i don't recommend too much either for now especially if you are starting the game but like i said later in the game it you you're really gonna need them so when you are in the rta you can just switch between monsters and change the runes and it will really save and facilitate your life and i think that's it when it comes to spending the gems honestly like i said your path of growth refreshes expedition refreshes if you're level three uh rate refreshes daily spammable quest refreshes third slot for monster exploration runes presets uh bugs expendables only the level one level two uh weekly refreshes in here but not the kairos one here same don't buy the kairos one here it's just not worth it i even still have 14 tickets like a i literally just do i have 1000 of them and i just do the uh, entries every single day now i have the battle pass so i get twice of them twice as much but i'm telling you it's just and yeah i think that's it and sometimes if you are very lazy uh but i don't recommend i uh, know i mean if you are missing gold and you are building your professions you might consider to spending some diamonds on those to for example buy already uh, process materials so for example yes this one will be cheaper uh, no sorry yes this one will be way cheaper than the actual uh, 20 of this but you need to remember you're gonna need to spend 70k gold to process it every single time so that's why it's more expensive and that's why when you're gonna build your professions you might want to save up a little bit of gems to come here and basically snipe some of those resources to basically help you to build your professions but yeah guys other than that i don't recommend anything else whatever i recommend that i recommend it tell me what do you think i missed or what do you think i you're not yeah i mean you're you're not happy with oh my god my english and i will see you in the next video guys so make sure to like follow and subscribe